Hi, this video presents an apparatus to find the latent heat of water vaporization. It's a very simple video which explains how it is done. The latent heat of converting water vapor into steam is the same latent heat for converting steam back into water. It's a two-way ticket. The apparatus really is very simple. On the left you have a vessel which boils water. Instead of calling it a kettle, we call it a boiler. It's placed on a stand and there's a burner below like a stove to light the fire. You put a thermometer there because you want to measure the temperature of the steam. Take a yellow pipe, you can take any pipe, and route the steam to a chamber on the right hand side called the steam trap. The steam trap is not a great chamber. It's just a place where the steam vapor collects and part of it could condense into water. If it does, the condensed water is led away, but that's not important for us. What's important is, in the steam trap, we want to direct the steam into a calorie meter, which already has a pre-measured mass of water. The calorie meter is right there below. So, lead the steam into the water. And that's why the pipe that leads the steam has got a hook-like shape here, like a hockey stick. So, you want to collect only the vapor and not the liquid water. So, that's why the juxtaposition of the pipe is a little different from that of the drain pipe and this hockey stick shaped pipe is placed a little above the level of the drain pipe so all the water is drained away and you'll get only steam going into the calorie meter when the steam goes into the calorie meter the water warms up the calorie meter itself with any stirrer that you put in it also warms up and they all reach a common temperature then you stop the uh, experiment and then you get to calculating the heat lost by steam and the heat gained by water and calorie meter and so on. That's all there is to this apparatus. Now we get into equating both sides. The heat energy lost by steam, you have to simply match it to the heat energy gained by water and the calorie meter as a system. Here, let's use some common symbols. L is latent heat of vaporization of water. And let the temperature of steam be theta 3. Let the starting temperature of water and calorie meter as a system be theta 1. And after the steam condenses into the calorie meter and water, they will get warmer and let that final temperature be theta 2. Obviously, when the steam uh, condenses, uh, into the water, we have to measure the mass of that water again. When we measured the mass of the water in the beginning, there was no steam in it. and the end, it had steam. So to find out how much steam condensed, we must measure that mass again. The steam lost heat, it became colder and the water and the calorimeter became warmer. As long as we remember that, we are on track. And heat energy is equal to mass into specific heat into change in temperature. Just plug that in and it's very simple to make these equations. So as you can see here under 1, the heat energy gained by the water, Q water, is mass of water into specific heat into the extent it warmed up, theta 2 minus theta 1. Similarly, the heat energy gained by the calorimeter and stirrer is their mass into their specific heat into the common warm-up temperature. The heat energy lost by steam is divided into two parts. One is the standard one, mass of steam into specific heat, which is the same as water, into the amount of temperature the steam lost, which is theta 3 minus theta 2. Here, please remember that the specific heat of steam is the same as the specific heat of water. The material hasn't changed. The mass of steam, which is M3, as I said, is found by calculating the final mass of water in the calorimeter and the initial mass of water in the calorimeter. So when you subtract the two, you can get the additional mass and that is the mass of steam that condensed into the water. The additional heat energy lost by steam is that mass of steam that condensed into latent heat. That's it. Here is where L comes in. So match both sides and you will get the heat gain is equal to heat lost and L is in that equation. So as I said, I won't even try to remember this equation. It's just an equating of 
heat, energy on both sides. You can do it on the fly. Thank you, and I hope this was useful. Bye-bye.